Ooh. <clears throat> hey there, welcome to a Halloween Photoshop tutorial from tutcast.com. Halloween is just around the corner, and in this tutorial, we're going to take a standard image of a pumpkin and transform it into an awesome looking jack o' lantern. Now, you're free to choose any image you wish, and hopefully, with the methods and settings that I provide in this tutorial, you'll be able to create a great looking jack o' lantern. Let's begin. Now in this image I've already gone ahead and darkened the background up a little bit by simply using the burn tool on everything other than the pumpkin. This will allow our viewers to focus more on the pumpkin and in the end the glow effects from the face will pop out a lot more. Let's go ahead and start off with the mouth. For this example I'm going to be using the polygonal lasso tool on a new layer to create the shape of the mouth. Now you can use any other creation methods that you wish, I just choose to use a nice simple polygonal lasso tool. Once the basic shape of the mouth is complete, fill the selection in with black. I'm going to add a slight ripple to our shape just so that it's not too sharp around the edges. Head up to filter, distort, and then click on ripple. And I'm going to add a very slight large ripple. Now we can go ahead and apply the layer styles which will really give the mouth a pumpkin feel to it. Head up to layer, layer style and let's begin with a gradient overlay. Now before we begin with the settings I want to mention that like most projects that use layer styles your results may and probably will turn out a little bit different than mine. Depending on the size of your image and your personal preference you may have to try out a few different values. Start by clicking on the gradient bar to bring up the gradient editor. The far left node we're going to set to a nice bright orange color. And the far right node a much darker orange. Click OK once you have both colors set. Now set the style to radial and the angle to 0 degrees and keep the scale at 100%. Now because the light inside the pumpkin would probably emit more from the middle of the pumpkin, I'm going to drag my gradient upwards just a tiny bit. Notice when I drag on top of my image, the gradient moves along with my mouse. Very handy tip. Now let's go ahead and add some depth to the mouth. Add an inner shadow. Here we're going to set the blend mode to color burn, and the color will be a semi dark yellow with the opacity set to 100%. For the angle, you need to consider where on the pumpkin your object is and how you're going to be looking at it. For objects at the bottom of the pumpkin, you'll probably want the angle set around negative 90 degrees. Distance will be set to 30, choke 100, and size will be set to 2. Now you can see what I meant when I mentioned the angle. If it were to be set to 90 degrees, it just wouldn't look that right. Continuing to add depth, let's add a bevel and emboss. Style is going to be set to emboss and direction down. Under shading, we're going to change the angle to around 95 and 25 degrees. Down a little bit further, we're going to set highlight mode to be set to overlay at 40% and shadow mode will be brought down to around 10%. Now the mouth is starting to look decent, but there's one more thing that it needs, a nice glow. Let's go ahead and add an inner glow. Here I'm going to set the blend mode to linear dodge and change the color to a nice light orange. Drag the size and the range up quite a bit and you should have a pretty decent result. Again you're free to change any of the values that I've entered in this tutorial to fit your personal preference. If you want you can also add a slight outer glow as well. Once you're happy with your result, press OK to accept the changes, and there's the mouth of our jack-o'-lantern. Now if you want, once you have created your other shapes for the face, you can right-click on the mouth layer, select Copy Layer Style, and then paste it on the new shapes. You will have to make adjustments though. Notice that in the eye, the angle on the inner shadow is all wrong, but you can simply hop back into your layer styles and adjust it to your liking. And that's that. Use your imagination to create a wild, wacky jack-o'-lantern in Photoshop. And until next time, this is Howard from Tutcast.com. Take care.